Oh, this is so annoying. If you start up your web application in Visual Studio and IIS Express displays this unable to connect message, here's how to fix it. There are a few different ways to fix it. Not all of these fixes work for everyone, so try them all until one works. Fix one is to close Visual Studio and reopen it again. This worked for me yesterday. Fix two is to change the web browser associated with Visual Studio. For some reason my Visual Studio no longer likes working with Firefox. However, Google Chrome still works. Microsoft Edge browser works as well. So you might need to change your Visual Studio's browser used for debugging. Fix three is to close Visual Studio then to delete the .vs folder from your solution. Just be aware that this might be a hidden folder in your Windows Explorer, but it's definitely there. If you open Visual Studio again, it will simply recreate the .vs folder. Fix 4 on a .NET Core web application is to go into Properties and then launch Settings.json. Look for IIS settings and change the SSL port from whatever it is to another number. I recommend that you use a port number between 44300 and 44399. Note that with an MVC web application, you'll need to go into the build properties. It's under the web tab and then IIS Express, make sure that's ticked and you can change the port here. Fix number five is to clean and build the solution a couple of times. So you can go to build and then clean solution. Then try building it again. Doing a clean and build after you've used some of the previous techniques I've talked about might also work as well. Finally, if none of that works, then reboot your PC. Or quit your job and do something less stressful instead. If you find any other solutions to this annoying problem, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.